Welcome to Nairobi, a city of many contrasts. Skyscrapers dominate the skyline, yet many fail to provide a sustainable and comfortable living environment. Ironically, all the buildings in Nairobi tend to do much better in terms of climate responsiveness as compared to their modern counterparts. Traditional elements like thick walls, ventilation shafts, and solar shading devices have stood the test of time. The pursuit of modern aesthetics has led to buildings that are disconnected from the environment. This results in discomfort, high energy consumption, and a larger carbon footprint. According to the United Nations Environment Programme, the building and construction sector is by far the largest emitter of greenhouse gases, accounting for a staggering 37% of global emissions. But the consequences go beyond this. Poorly designed buildings contribute to the sick building syndrome, leading to a wide range of health issues for occupants. Architects and developers face numerous challenges. Tight deadlines, budget constraints, and limited access to climate data, which often hinders the ability to design climate-responsive buildings. And even when the climate data is available, they lack the technical know-how to translate the data into actionable design steps. It's time to change this narrative. We need buildings that not only look good, but also have a minimal impact on the environment. Welcome to Dira AI, a tool designed to help builders, architects, and developers to meet their sustainability goals. So once you land onto the website, that is www.dira.ai, this is what you met up with. So that, that is a hero page explaining what we do. And uh, once you go down, you'll see that we have a map element and uh, another asking you what you are designing. So the first thing you need to do is find your location. And for me, for example, I'll start with uh, Nairobi, which is where I live. The map takes us to Nairobi. So uh, maybe I can zoom in further into, into, into Nairobi. And uh, now I can take it to wherever I want. So let's say I want to do a Wasoke Dong. Uh, and you see the map, as you move the map element, uh, you see the location change at this point. So once you do that, you can come and say, get climate data. So what, it, what that is doing is getting you climate data for that particular location. Once you do that, then you come and uh, ask, we ask you what kind of building do you want? So let's say we're doing a residential building and our sustainability goal is energy efficiency. And then you can pick a certification index that you're trying to work with. And for this one, let's say we're working with the LEED certification. So when it comes to any special requirements, so for example, I could say it's a two uh, level uh, style, all right? So once that is done, you can come and say get recommendations. So at this point, the AI model is running uh, to get you recommendation, design recommendations for a residential house uh with the sustainability going goal being energy efficiency uh, and a lead certification and so uh here are your recommendations and so it gives you the climate overview um where it lies uh its type of climate uh the temperature the relative humidity humidity the wind direction precipitation and then gives you uh design recommendations for lead certified for a lead certified residential building and that, that is how it looks like. So now we go further because again, text is good, but sometimes it's good to see what you're talking about. So you can come and generate an image. So there are your recommendations again with the image produced and this is what you've gotten. So give it a try and let's see what you're able to come up with. Pick any location across the world and give it any specific requirement. Uh, thank you. Imagine a world where every building is designed to coexist harmoniously with its environment. A world where comfort, energy efficiency and sustainability are the norm. Our app is a step towards that future. Join us in building a better world. Visit our website to learn more and be part of the change.